Hey guys, it's Zach. So ABC, or the American Broadcasting Company for long, came to me and said, Hey, we got this show speechless. Uh, would you mind helping us promote it? And I was like, what is it? Actually, I knew what it was, because this show has been on my radar for a while, uh, because it is a show that stars a kid with cerebral palsy. And I was like, I'll promote it if I like it, or if you put me in a Star War and on The View with Whoopi Goldberg. And they said, we can't do either of those things. And I was like, all right, I'll watch it anyway. <laughs> and then I ended up really liking it. So um, I'm going to give you guys sort of my take on what the episode is. Uh, and try and get you guys to watch it. Use my internet powers to try and get you guys to watch what I like. All jokes aside, Speechless is a really good show that resonated with me on a lot of levels that most shows that involve disability don't. And I think what's different about this show is that they actually make it a show about a family where one of the members of the family happens to have a disability. Uh, and, you know, the show is funny regardless. And the kid that they got is actually disabled, which they never do in Hollywood. But Speechless is just like a good family show. It's like Malcolm in the Middle if Malcolm, instead of being in the middle, was in a wheelchair. <laughs> um... And the opening scene was something that uh, really resonated with me because, uh, first of all, it starts with Mimi Driver driving, which I've never seen. And she's speeding along, and she drives past these cops, and the cops are like, oh, you don't want to stop her. And you're like, why? Why wouldn't you want to stop Mimi Driver from driving too fast? And you learn that these, this family is in a big old wheelchair van, and that, like, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to stop the woman in the wheelchair van. This is something that I can relate to a lot because I have often exploited my disability to get out of legal repercussions for doing something wrong. When I was in college, I had a party uh, called, uh, well, actually, it was a pajama party ice cream social where alcohol was also served. And everyone was in their pajamas, getting their Sundays together. And uh, we were being too loud, like dancing to the Spice Girls. And the cops were called. And then the cop opens the door. And I'm just like, I roll up to him in my wheelchair. And I'm like, what's the problem, officer? And I took, I took like an apple and I, I just nonchalantly like took a bite of the apple. I felt so cool. And he couldn't bust us because I was like... This is, um, this is my house, and uh, I don't know. I would be happy to come with you down to the station, but I don't know if you have a wheelchair-accessible uh, police car to arrest me in, which he didn't, so I lucked out. And uh, so I know what that's like to just... you you got to use what you got. Another thing that I really love about this show is they make fun of just how patronizing people can be to individuals with disabilities. Like, this kid, uh, JJ, is going into a new school, and, like, they're trying to be so inclusive that it's just so dismissive. And when he goes into the classroom, they're all, like, clapping for him, and uh, and, and they, they give him, like, a sign that says JJ for president. It's just... And you would think that, okay... They're joking around, it's a TV show, this stuff doesn't happen. But this happens to me all the time. Like, particularly, a lot of old ladies give me applause for doing things like riding planes or being outside by myself. I, just the other day, a waiter came up to me and was like, it's so nice to see you out. It's like, really? I mean, I'm just spilling salsa on myself. That really doesn't like require applause so i mean this show for the first time i i feel like gets uh gets what really goes on for an individual who has to go through life with differences and everybody assumes that those differences make that person either helpless or superhuman in some way um 
And another reason I like it is it normalizes disability uh, without uh, without sugarcoating it. It doesn't feel fake. Um, and I feel like they really did their homework. And uh, I'm excited to see where it goes. I would really love it if you guys would check out this show and uh, maybe... Like, let me know what you think, because, you know, maybe you have different opinions. Maybe if you're disabled, you're like, this doesn't speak for me. But I, there was definitely a lot that I related to growing up with a disability. It's not like I grew out of it. But, I, yeah, there was definitely a lot that I was like, oh, I, I can, this kid and me are simpatico. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Check out Speechless September 21st on ABC and uh, put in a good word for me on The View and in Star Wars. Bye!